Hi Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with a bonus extra love reading. So you guys uh, were one of the zodiac signs this week that got high views so i am coming in with an extra bonus reading just to give back to the Aryan community you guys this is a general reading feel free to like share subscribe if it resonates and if it resonates there will be an extended part to this reading that you can follow on and i will pop that link in the show more section below okay aries Alrighty. so as i mentioned guys this is a general love read uh, this is good for all um, Aryan placements, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. And to the cross watchers uh, coming in, checking in on an Aries in your life, feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you. Okay, otherwise let's dive on in. I am working with the Tarot for All Ages for those of you who are interested to learn more about this deck. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy this deck too. It is fairly new. But otherwise, let's jump on in. Spirit, angels and guides, what, what messages do you have for Aries regarding love and romance at this time? What is it that Aries should know regarding love and romance at this time? Spirit, what messages do you have for our Aries? Oh, okay. All right, first card coming through is the Steward of Pentacles. Oh, okay. All right. So this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And straight away what I'm getting for you, Aries, is that this person is moving too slow. Okay, they're moving too slow. Not Maybe not moving things uh, forward or fast enough here for you. Okay, there's the Seven of Cups interesting i feel you're very confused or you're feeling very confused about why that is okay this is someone who took great action towards you now i feel like they've slowed their energy down it feels like they've slowed their energy down and you're viewing this person as moving very very slowly you're feeling really confused about this because the seven of cups can speak to emotional confusion not really knowing what is going on with this person but it could be Aries with the Seven of Cups. It could be because there are other options surrounding this person. Okay. Or you might be feeling that this person is at this point treating you like an option. Okay. So I feel like I'm connecting to an Aries too. That if you feel like this person has slowed down or they're taking their sweet ass time you might be considering looking at other options also okay let's find out more spirit tell us more tell us more what is it that aries needs to know when it comes to this person what is it that aries needs to know when it comes to this person or this situation spirit interesting there's the eight of cups and there is the sage of cups this is water energy Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you feel at this point, Aries, that this person is keeping their feelings very close to their chest. Okay, you feel like they're keeping their feelings hidden or they're keeping their feelings away from you. And with the Eight of Cups here, you're not too happy with the current situation. We're going from the Seven to the Eight. So however I'm looking at this, I feel like I'm connecting to an Aries who's not happy with how this person is presenting and you're considering walking away okay you're considering checking out to see if the grass is greener on the other side okay because you're definitely considering your options here mm. but as it currently stands you're not too happy with this individual hmm they're not really giving you anything to work with. Like if you look at this card, I'm looking at a dinner plate, a fork, a knife, a cup, a serviette, and there's nothing being served up on this plate. So emotionally speaking, you're, you're not extracting anything from this connection. 
Mm, you feel like they're not serving up. They're not giving you anything. They're not serving you up a good, decent meal. <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? All right, let's 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 move on. Um, you might feel you might feel that you are starved of this person's affections okay and i'm seeing a cat and cats can tend to be like that can't they they're very independent um and they pick and choose when they want to affectionate you. I know that's not a word, but that's a word that I use. So you may feel that you are starved of emotional connection or affection when it comes to this person. We've got the world card here. Okay, I do feel with the world card that you're, you're learning a lot right now from this person. And the world can speak to closing out a cycle or closing the door on this connection. You've got the magician card here. So I feel like, I feel like with the magician, you are feeling very confident if that's your choice. And if that's the route that you wanna take, I feel that you are confident to do that. Okay, cause you know um, that you deserve better or that you can get better than this. Okay, you may also feel with the magician here that this person is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. It could be here with the magician and the seven of cups that this person is creating an all smoke and mirrors situation. But you know, with the magician, you have everything inside of you. You're very well resourced, Aries. So I feel like which either way, either way you want to look at this, I feel like I'm connect connecting to an Aries that's going to be totally A-OK -okay, with or without this person. Mm. Because the magician is, this is self-mastery. So you're getting better at this. That's what I'm hearing Spirit say. You're getting better at this. You're, you're getting better at detecting maybe the red flags or you're getting better at dealing with people that show up like this you know in your love life so you've got the ace of swords here and you've got the six, uh sorry the five of cups sorry i haven't got my glasses on the five of cups what have we got yep the magician's still here that's all right that's okay okay so ace of swords is sitting underneath the seven of cups so if you're feeling emotionally confused right now i do want to say that you're going to get clarity you're going to get the clarity that you need, okay? Because Ace of Swords is telling me here, this is a breakthrough energy, okay? Or perhaps maybe some truth is going to be revealed to you. And once this truth is being revealed, I feel like you will use this sword to either give this person a mouthful or cut this person out of your life, okay? Okay? Mm. but either way you, you're looking at it you want the truth from this person you want the truth from this person okay you're not interested i'm i see the five of cups here but i'm seeing these three cups in the reverse okay i'm really looking at this right now three of cups in reverse you're not interested in having something casual with this person okay if this person was to come back into your life or to return to you, they're moving so freaking slow right now that you're probably not even interested in reuniting with this person or giving them a second chance. I'm looking at these two cups up here and the two of cups speaks to a soulmate connection. Perhaps Aries, you thought this person was your soulmate or you thought that or you felt like they um we're interested in you um but i'm seeing a snake drinking from this cup so someone here was being a snake okay someone here was being i'm seeing this snake as deception 
Mm. Someone who came and drank from your cup, but is leaving you rather thirsty, is leaving you starved of emotional affection. That's how I look at it. But I'm kind of looking at this now like you've got nothing left to give. Okay. All right. Let's just grab another card. Aries. Spirit, tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. We've got two. We've got Guardian of Swords. This is Queen of Swords. And we've got Apprentice of Swords. Interesting. Okay. What's underneath here? Yeah. There's a Moon card. You could be connecting to a Pisces or otherwise a Cancerian here. But right now with the moon, I'm getting that you feel like you're being kept in the dark about how this person feels or what their true intentions are here. The moon can speak to cyclical or cycles, cyclical patterns or cycles here. And with the moon, you may be keen or interested in, you know, closing a chapter here, especially with the world card. With the Guardian of Swords, um, you're seeking truth right now. That's what you want. You're seeking full transparency and truth from this person. Mm. And I feel like you may be dealing with someone here with the Apprentice of Swords. Because it's an Apprentice card, you may feel like you're not getting the whole truth from this person. Because to me, I often view the Apprentice of Swords as someone who isn't very clear with their words. There's a tendency to maybe manipulate or, or bend the truth. Um, but I'm seeing this as unclear communication or un, like this is a lack of clarity. I say lack of clarity because there's, there's clouds in the background. And this is like question marks for you this is like red flags or this is like question marks so these are like questions that are unanswered that you're seeking information or answers to these are questions that you're seeking answers to but i feel with the queen of swords um you're definitely being head over heart right now you're definitely coming from a more logical place as opposed to an emotional place hmm all right, so let's grab a last parting message or advice or whichever comes first. And Aries, if this reading is resonating, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Feel free to take advantage of the super thanks button also, which is your way of being able to give back to the Cancer, Cancer Moon channel. Um, and also too, let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person here today. We've got Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming in strongly as well. We've got Leo, Scorpio, strong Aquarius energy around you or surrounding you and Earth energy. So let me know, Aries. Um, otherwise, let's grab a last parting message or advice. What have we got here? Expect powerful change. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're bringing in the change, though, because you're coming in with this Ace of Swords. Okay, new moon eclipse is telling me here that something that was hidden from you is certainly going to come to the light. You're going to have an epiphany. You're going to have a revelation. This is like a judgment call or an awakening here. I just turned the cards around and we've got the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Look, you may be dealing with the Capricorn also. I feel like... I feel like this feels like a hard connection or relationship to navigate. I feel like this was more energy or more work than you bargained for. That's what I'm feeling, Aries. I mean, you're a bit of a headstrong person, but um, I feel like this was definitely more than you bargained for. Okay, for those of you who are going through something difficult with this person, I do want to say that the end is near. Okay, and a new beginning is uh, on the horizon for you. So that's where I leave it, you guys. If you would like to join me over on the extended, remember that link will be in the show more section below. But otherwise, Aries, this is where I love you and leave you. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.